Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you all how to prepare an easy vegetable korma South Indian style. This is a really rich and creamy gravy. And first we'll be proceeding to grind the masala. I've soaked some cashew in warm water for one hour. Let's add the cashews. Now I'll be adding some onion, chilies, ginger and garlic, some green cardamom and fennel seeds. Let's add this to the mixer jar. Now I'll be adding a little bit of water and grinding it into a very fine paste. Soaking the cashews will ensure that the mixture is ground into a fine paste. If you do not soak the cashews, there will be some granules of the cashew. As you can see, it's ground into a fine paste. Now let's proceed to make the gravy. Now I'll heat some oil in the vessel and I'll add in some cinnamon stick and some curry leaves. To this I'll be adding the paste. I'll stir this well. Now to this I'll be adding some powder spices I've mentioned the powder spices in the description below Now I'll give this a nice stir The masala needs to cook well. It will bring out the flavor of the kurma. To this I'll be adding chopped tomato. Continue sauteing this for another 3 to 4 minutes until the tomatoes are nice and mushy. As the masalas are frying, I'll show you all the veggies. I've taken some cauliflower, french bean, carrot, peas and potato and I've diced them like this, like small cubes. So this will help it cook faster. You can use any kind of vegetables for this recipe and it should be around 250 to 300 grams. Let's check on the masala. The masalas have now fried and the tomatoes also have become mushy as you can see. Now I'll add in the veggies which are pre chopped. I'll add in some salt as per taste. And now I'll add some water to this. Mix this all really well. Now cover it and let it cook on a medium low flame until the potatoes and the other veggies are cooked. Let's check on the vegetables. looks nice and yummy the potatoes also are cooked you can run a knife and check for the same now to this I'll be adding whisk yogurt and coconut milk I've used canned coconut milk you can use fresh extracted coconut milk as well now I'll give this a quick stir Add in some sugar, just a little bit of sugar to give it that nice sweet taste. Now I'll bring this to a boil. I will not overcook it, otherwise the coconut milk and yogurt might curdle. So I'll just bring it to boil and then remove it off heat. 
as you can see my mixture is now boiling i'll just give it a stir and remove it off heat this can be served with some nice kerala parathas or you can enjoy this with some ghee or jeera rice so i hope you'll enjoy watching the video guys please do like and subscribe to my channel you can also follow me on facebook instagram and twitter and show me your love i'll see you next time guys